Hi everyone, it's Vicky here and welcome back. Today I'm going to have some fun with foiling and I have a couple of background foil plates here. This is the waves and this is the hooven one. There are also the little dots that you can get or even lines and I like this kind of uh, plates just because they are big. You can create a, a really interesting background with lots of shine which can be subtle at the same time, depending on which foil you are going to use, and it can help that uh, focal point to pop even more. Now, uh, as you can see, it doesn't cover up completely a standard card, but you can easily place the plate on another area and foil it one more time to cover up completely the card front. While my Glimmer hot foil machine is warming up, I am preparing some background. So for the first one, I'm going with a gold foil on top of white. And I'm also going to create a couple of more backgrounds using the waves. I absolutely love this one. And I think this one is my favorite from all those big background plates. Now, as you can see, you can place it vertically or horizontally. And I'm going to do both styles with this uh, uh, plate so you can see the look. Now for this one I'm going with that uh, beautiful blue foil roll on top of white again. I used my Glimmer hot foil machine to make sure that that plate was warm enough and then once that um, light stopped blinking I ran it through my die cutting machine which adds some pressure. It helps that foil to stick on top of the paper but at the same time it adds some uh, embossing which means that it gives that um, lovely letterpress look. And you can see here the wonderful results. This rose gold uh, roll is absolutely stunning and I think it gives a touch of elegance on the background. Now for the next one I'm using the waves. I'm going to run them through my die cutting machine just to add some pressure. I always like to put my platform back into the machine. This way I can keep it nice and warm ready for the next foiling. And let's peel off together that uh, foil and see what happened. This is a lovely design. I'm going to use it as waves to create summer cards, but you can use it as a really simple design on your background. You can stick flowers on top or any other uh, element that you like. Now I'm going to repeat the same process one more time using the wave plate, but this time I'm going to use it in a different orientation. And you can see that it's going to cover up completely the card front with no problems at all. I like to use some washi tape to make sure that the plate is not going to move on me or the foil. Wait for that light to stop blinking and then I can run it through my die cutting machine to apply pressure. If you notice, I always like to run this sandwich through the die cutting machine twice and I do it slowly. This is a little bit fast forward. Make sure that you do it slowly and allow that pressure over the plate. You will get great results every time. Just like always, the platform goes back at the dock. And if you never used this machine before, notice that I touch the plate. Although it is warm, it's not going to burn you. So I peeled off the foil and let's take a look at what we have. Now here I did end up with a little bit of overfoiling in some areas and probably you can see that. But again, this is just over foiling. If you just use your fingers, you can peel it off completely and it's going to fall off. Only the areas where you applied the pressure when that was warm is going to stick down. So you can see I can easily clean it off. Another way is to use a sand eraser, which is going to do the job perfectly, or even a very stiff brush. So now I ended up with three foiled backgrounds and let's turn them into cards. For the first one I'm going to use my scissors and I'm going to cut along that uh, top line just because I want this to be my ocean. So as I'm cutting it out I'm leaving just a little bit of uh, a border or you can even cut it along the top line. If you can see I have already cut out stamped and colored a little fish and I'm sure you all have a little fish somewhere in your stash. This one is from uh, my favorite things. You will find by the way everything I'm using linked down below. I'm going to pop the fish on top of my ocean and this is how the card is going to look. Before I stick the ocean down I'm going to add the sentiment. For that I picked three little plates that have the words June, July and August and you will find that set linked down below. 
And I'm also going to stamp the word happy. So this is a um, card perfect for summer and it's going to end up saying happy June, July, August. So I'm going to stamp the word happy first just so I know the exact placement. And I always like to stamp my uh, sentiments a couple of times to get a good vibrant impression. And then I'm going to align the plates on top. These are foiling plates again. I used a T-ruler to make sure that these are nice and straight. I also used uh, washi tape to secure them down with the foiling. And the foil that I used here is uh, the same as the one that I used for the waves. And I'm going to end up with a lovely sentiment that combines stamping with foiling so it has some sparkle on top of it. Washi tape in this type of designs really make a difference. The plates didn't move at all. Let's peel them off and see what we have. When I started creating cards, I fell in love with embossing and it uh, still looks magical to me. When I emboss something, I absolutely love it. And foiling is another big love of mine. I was avoiding it for a lot of time, but once I started using it, I absolutely fell in love with it. I love the embossed effect that it gives and I absolutely love the, the elegance on my cards. They really look finished and very professional. So finally for this card I'm using my Nouveau Drops to add a few bubbles and all I have to do is to just stick this panel on top of a standard card that's four and a quarter by five and a half and you can see here a few close-up photos. Foiled cards are really sparkly in real life and taking photos of them and catching all that sparkle is quite difficult but I'm always uh, doing my best. So now let's move on to the second background. This time I did use my scissors to cut out the waves one more time. And I did emboss my sentiment on top of blue cardstock. And here is my focal point that I'm going to pop on top. Here's a little guy that dives in the ocean. I stamped and colored it with uh, my alcohol markers. And this also comes from the same stamp set as the fish that I used in the previous card. And you can see that this is a very simple card. The um, foiling on the waves really makes it special. And if you want to add an extra touch, you can use some glossy accents. Now this looks a little bit milky but it's going to dry quite clear and it is going to give a lovely shine. I'm going to stick this panel on top of a pre-folded card that's four and a quarter by five and a half and here are some close-up photos. And let's turn the last background for today into a card. I do have some foam tape at the back. I'm going to pop it on top of a panel which is pink as a focal point, I'm going to create a flower composition. I did use dyes from the latest Spellbinders card kit of the month. And just to add an extra touch of fun, instead of using green for the leaves, I decided to go with this blue cardstock. Now for one of uh, the flowers, I'm going with foam tape at the back and pop it on top of my card. For the other one, I'm going to go flat so that I can tuck it underneath the bigger one. I'm going to tuck underneath the leaves as well. I also added a sentiment which is again uh, foiled. And as an extra touch I'm going to use my Nouveau Drops and add some dots at the center of the flower. So these were the cards for today. I hope that you had fun, that you got inspired. Don't forget to leave me a comment, I always love reading them. To like and subscribe if you haven't done so already. Thank you so much for spending some time with me today and I'll see you all next time.